All right, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be doing pattern rows. So over here I have this large example that I did a couple years ago. We're not gonna go this advanced, but we'll see what we can do. So let's get going. All right, so this is my project from a couple years ago, and uh, it's not complete because it did take me a couple days to do this. So we're not gonna go with this advanced, but we can use it as our inspiration for this uh, for today's project. So with that said, let me just push it aside. So what you need is a ruler, a piece of paper, and something to draw with. And if you want to add color, it's always optional. Now, with that said. What I'm going to do is create a couple rows. Now for this project, for you guys, since we only have 15 minutes, I want you guys to do at least uh, seven lines going across. So here's my first one. One, two, and they don't have to be even from each other. Three, because um, the rows can be different. So maybe one could be wider than the other. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So this last one's going to be right here. Now, with seven lines, it gives you a certain amount of spaces. It gives you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight different patterns to do. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do this in marker. That way it's it shows up better on the camera. I've noticed a pencil hasn't been showing up just as well. So let's get started. So let me just trace all these lines again. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, it's not gonna be perfect, I apologize. but it's okay. All right, those last two lines were a little off, but you get the point. All right, so um, over here, we have a couple simple patterns that we can try to copy off of, but um, let's try a, a couple easy ones. So the first easy one I see is this uh, little zigzag one that kind of looks like mountains. And um, all I did, so all I did was, start, so all I did was start from one end and I kind of like started zigzagging just like this. And it starts to make this cool back and forth triangle pattern, just like that. All right, my next one, um, I see ones as a circles, so I can do that. Okay, just circles. Ta -da! All right, the next one I see is just squares. So I'm just gonna start dividing a section in half, just like this. What else do I see? I see the, these little cool loops over here to make it look like a minion, kind of. So I'm just going to copy that. Just like that. What else do I see? I see fruits. I see scales. Why don't I do scales? It's a little bit harder. I got a little confused there. <laughs> this last one always tricks me. There we are. All right, we got scales. Let's try another one. Mm, I see this one right here. It's kind of mimicking this one, but it's a little bit more thinner. Like that. All right. I think I have two more. Let's see what else I could see. I see like teeth, kind of. So almost kind of like this, but the zigzags stay on one side. And then I can zigzag the other end. Just like that. Hmm. And let's do something interesting for the last one. Hmm. All right. I got an idea for the last one. Um, for this one, I'm going to try to do the puzzle piece. So I figured the last one should be a hard one. And all I got to do is just do lumps on each side like this. This one's a little more advanced, so it's okay if you can't do that one. I'm not expecting you guys to. And you kind of go up, just like this. And there you go, you got puzzle pieces. Ta -da! All right. I would say that this isn't fully done for two reasons. Number one, I really wish there was more color 
but number two, we could do more. Uh, we could do more harder patterns than this. Uh, so if you look at this one over here, each of the patterns that I did had a more advanced version of it. So with that said, let's try to figure out some things that we could do with these. Uh, that's not on here. So with the, uh, so the first, so the first thing I see are these circles that could be turned into basically anything. So my idea was to turn them into pokeballs. That'd be a cool idea, right? That's one idea. Let's find another thing that we could do with something else. All right, maybe these squares. So these squares I saw over here with those circles that are kind of plain. I can turn them into icons. So maybe like a YouTube button, Instagram, YouTube, Instagram. So kind of like the icons that you see on your parents' phone and stuff. Kind of cool. What else can I change? Um, let's see, maybe I can turn these scales into stripes. It might take me a while. But I'm gonna skip every other one, just so I save some time. Just like this. All right, that's pretty cool. What else can I do? Can you guys see anything else? Hmm, what if I did sort of like a racetrack or like a road on this one? Kind of going in and out of the forest. That'd be kind of cool. Maybe add some dotted lines to emphasize that it's an actual road. That'd be kind of cool. Cool. I like that a lot. All right. Let's try something else. Hmm. What else do you guys see? I see teeth. I don't know how to change that though. I see teeth down here too. <laughs> hmm. Maybe for this triangle one, I'll just do simple patterns. So maybe I'll just put a triangle. In each of them, so like a mini triangle inside a bigger triangle. Ta da! Just like that. Alright, um, what else can I do? Hmm. Maybe I can put rectangles in each of these ones over here. Might take me a while. Just like this. That was pretty cool. And I think I only have one more. I want to leave the puzzle pieces alone. Let's try to change these finger looking things that I turned into minions to something else. Maybe I'll turn them into fingers. Yeah, that'll be kind of weird though. <laughs> hmm, what can I turn those, these things into? Maybe doors, maybe? There, they're doors now. Upside down door, right side up door. They're doors. <laughs> that was a cool idea. Alright, let's see how much time we have, and then it'll judge if we have time to color or not. Okay, we're at 10 minutes, so I think the best thing I'm going to do is, I, th I think I'm going to choose at least four of them. Alright, so we have time, so I'm going to choose at least four of them, and then I'm going to color them. So, here we go. I might have to speed up the video. Ah! That's not red. Okay, I decided to do this a marker. So we're gonna do this a marker. All right, so, uh, all right, so if you don't hear from me, it's because I'm speeding up the video. So here we go.
All right, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end it right there. I could keep going, obviously, but uh, I don't want to waste your guys' time because it's, we're going to run into... Uh, so we're going to run out of time. So anyways, um, that's the pattern project. I hope you guys are able to do this. It's actually not that hard. All I got to do, again, is just to make rows, a uh, minimum of eight in particular, and just try to make something out of it. Just try to make some sort of like repeating pattern, and then you're good to go. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. See you guys next time.